स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल फोकस ऑन समथिंग कॉल्ड एज इनपुट now say when you talk about input you have used certain languages you have worked on c you have worked on c++ now with the term comes for java now say when you talk about c language you have something called as scanf when you talk about c++ you have something called as c in but when you talk about java you don't have a proper thing or a shortcut thing to take input you know when you talk about java java always works with objects so if you have to take output or sorry you have to take input you have to work with object that means we you should be having certain methods using which you can take input because object does something with the help of methods so if you want to work with method the main method or sorry the method which we use to take input is read line now using this read line method you can take input from the user now question arises when you talk about any method method can be static method can be non static if you say your method is static you have to use class name if you say your method is non static you have to use object name and the fortunate thing about this method is this method is a non static method which will be used using the object of buffered reader that means you have to create object of buffer reader in this sense which is buffer reader br equal to new buffer reader see when i talk about buffer reader you know let's suppose you have a blank constructor here see when i talk about buffer reader the object to create object of buffer reader you have to you have to answer three things if you can answer these three questions you are done with input let's start with the first question The first question is where. You know, when you talk about input, you should get input from certain things. Like you are getting input from keyboard, you are getting input from mouse, you are getting input from file. You know, you can take input from anywhere. So it's important exactly from where you are taking input. Where? Let's go for how. In which way or how you will be getting input? You know, it is in stream format or character format. In which format? because if we talk about this formats you can have byte stream you can have character stream everything will be stream format you know you have to be specific which which type of data you are working with and basically when we talk about computers you always work in stream format last question to answer is what see basically when user input something it's your what you know what exactly what data you are getting because you can get text you can get uh, image you know you can get many formats or you can get many data so you have to answer these three questions first one where how and what to solve this question you know you will be getting some input from input from user so let's go for one one question let's go for what the answer for what is what user will input you know when you talk about read line this is your method read line Now again, read line method is non-static. You have to work with object. Let's suppose B R is the object of buffer reader. Now it will give you some string because see when you talk about read line method, it is written in such a way that it will return you the string, the whole line, the user inputs. Now again, we will getting the string, so we have to store in a string variable or a string object. So we have to create a string object like S T R. So now the user will input here and it will store in str. But the thing is, when you when you when you talk about this object br, you have to create this object. Till now it is not created. Now when you talk about creation of object, you have to take it this way. You have to create object of buffer reader br equal to new buffer. reader see when you talk about buffer reader the object it will ask you see i will create object no issue but the problem is i want in which way or how the data will be coming and you have to specify it will be coming in streaming format that means you have to pass an object here of input stream reader and let's suppose the object name is is i have just defined it you know first you have to define the object name and for definition you have to write it is input stream reader it is is equal to new 
input stream 0. That's about this is its constructor. Now, I have talked about, you know, from where you will be taking input. See, when you talk about this input stream reader, it will convert your input in stream format by the question arise from where you are getting input. And the input we are getting is from system. Right? You are, you are taking an input from keyboard and when you talk about printing something, it is system.out.println. Using print, you can, you can print something where in output device. Which output device? System's output device. In the same way, when you talk about input, you are taking input from keyboard. Which keyboard, which input device, it's system input device. And so you can define it is system ka object. So it's system dot in. So it's system dot in. And now we have answered our three questions. First question was how? It will be in stream format. From where? From input device. What? It will be br dot read line. And using this, you, are, you can get any input from any user. Basically, it's not about just keyboard. You can take input from file. You just have to pass the object of file here. You can take input from socket. You have to just pass the object of socket here. That means you can take from take input from anywhere using buffer reader. And this is the power of Java. I hope you understand it. And that's it.